about electrolytes. And remember, electrolytes is a solution that produces an electric current. Now, key note for electrolytes is those ions. Can this compound produce ions when they're in solution? So, I have HCl, hydrochloric acid. It is a strong acid, but it's also an ionic compound. It splits open hydrogen ions and chlorine ions. So, When, it's when it reacts with an electrolyte. So I'm going to go and put it in here. And the light bulb lights up. Pretty bright, right? All right, so we just talked about non-electrolytes. Now, non-electrolytes are solutions that don't produce an electric current when they become a solution. And that usually happens with covalent compounds. So I have... Um, Ethyl alcohol. Ethyl alcohol is an organic compound. It is a covalent compound. There is no ions present when it becomes a solution. So, pour it in with a beaker. And we are going to go ahead and test to see if our light bulb will light up. As you can see, it does it. That's because ethyl alcohol is non is non electrolyte. That means it does not produce electricity. That means there's no ions present. So now we kind of touched a little bit about weak electrolytes. Now weak electrolytes, they have ions, but they also have that compound in, a, in an aqueous solution. So it doesn't produce a lot of ions as a strong electrolyte or in, uh, that would produce. Now usually these are weak acids. So I have vinegar, what we eat, drink all the time, um, it's, and everything, a lot of stuff that we eat or drink. Now this is uh, um, acetic acid. Acetic acid is actually very weak acid. So I'm going to go ahead and pour some in here. And we're going to go see what type of electrolyte this is. As you can see, it lights up, but if you looked at the light bulb when it was a regular electrolyte with hydrochloric acid, it was extremely bright. This one's very, very dim. Yes, it produces ions, but not a lot, so it's a weak electric current. That's why it's a weak light that it's being 